man. I found the fastest way to get all your hot spots in one day on NBA 2K24, man. Still be able to get badge progression. Still be able to get VC. Man, listen, make sure you stick around for the whole video because you're going to want to do it correctly so you won't have to be in the comments trying to figure out why you ain't do this right or this, you ain't do this. Nah, look, stay and watch the whole video. Make sure you pay attention, man. I promise you, you won't be let down. Let's go. Now, first things first, man, all this is done offline. You don't need nothing but time, man. You don't need no people. You don't need nothing. We're going to go with the street ball mode. Make sure you hop in the street ball mode. For my preference, I used point. And when I did the point, man, you know what I'm saying, the street ball park, I also played weasel because that's the one that got all the point guards to make it as easy as possible. While I was doing that, when I was playing with my guard, while I was doing that, I made sure that I played the middle point guard to be because he was a shorter one because you don't want to play weasel because he's 6'8". You want to be able to shoot over the players as um, easy as possible and make sure you used to get you some um, big man so you can have the screen when you need to be able to screen and get open or whatever but like i said man all you doing you want to at least score 18 to 21 of the points to make sure you get the hot spot like i said two games between two uh three games if you already got the spot neutral four games if you got the spot cold to be able to get your um hot spot but after about three games you should definitely be able to get your spot neutral try to have at least a 65 to a 70 or higher i say 70 to be safe at least a 70 um free throw i mean not a 70 free throw a 70 field goal or at least a 70 three pointer to be able to make sure you get the high spots make sure that you average as many points as possible the lowest i would try to say go to be able to get it as quick as possible is 18 and what i was doing was calling for a screen every time now mind you after you get eight points they're gonna try to double team you every time once they try to double team if you're trying to get your three pointers from your high spot three pointers all you gotta do is run back court real quick set this screen behind the half court line and that way you'll be able to get enough space to be able to do it and you can also do that when you're getting around the elbow areas as well now with a post player even if you're trying to get your post because you're in the inside you might want to get your post when you're getting them low hot spots you know what i'm saying closer towards the post closer towards the free throw line make sure you don't bring the ball up whether you're on your guard or whether you're on a big man don't bring the ball up and just get on the base you know get on the free to get on whatever hot spot you want to get to call for the ball make sure when you call for the ball you be able to shoot immediately especially if you already got more than eight points you know what i'm saying because the double team will come pretty quick now the front the top of the free throw line hot spot was the hardest hot spot man but make sure when y'all try to get that hot spot make sure you do a post fade even if you got your guard or you got your big man you probably gonna want to post fade because it's gonna make it much easier and it's gonna make it way faster the way you can run through the games because at the end of the day man we're trying to run through the games as fast as possible and if I, if I gotta leave a tip i would say when you get back down on defense once you get you a comfortable lead up by about five points or something like that once you get a comfortable lead you can start just letting them score so they can score as fast as possible that way you will be able to get back on the other end you know what i'm saying and score the ball as much as you know as much as you can but like i said man this is the best way to be in the fastest way where you don't need nobody all you gotta do is get on the game where you can get your hot spots man call for screens make sure you um play on the point like i said make sure you play on the point i went with weasel because i know they had all guards so it's easy to shoot over top of guards even if you're a smaller guard this is my 6 day build right here my 6 day guard build i'm actually gonna bring up a video um tomorrow because this build is crazy it's my shay um shay build shay alexander build man this build is a solid build um few tips man few takeaways make sure you when you scoring at least eight points you will get double team don't get frustrated all you gotta do is go back court run back court it'll reset the double team and before you go over the other side of the court call for the hash screen and make sure you know what i'm saying take the screen to go whatever side you want to go to free throw line make sure the free throw line you definitely fade from there because trying to hit that free throw line hot spot is going to be tough trying to get it off the dribble the easiest way for me was just posting up and fading when i got double team all i did was start passing the ball up at the top of the key you know what i'm saying before i got the um half court set myself on the block and then i you know called for the ball and shot a quick fade but like i said 70 percent or higher you might can do 65 you might have to play a little bit more games but 70 percent or higher when it comes to your um high spots try to score at least 18 to 20 points you know what i'm saying 18 to 21 points when it comes to you know getting a hot spot as fast as you can between three games if you already got the spot hot if the spot is cold you probably gonna have to play four games but like i said man this is the fastest way make sure you get those spots because the more hot spots you get when that lethal time come once a week when you can get your lethal badges you will be able to get your badges and not have to upgrade and get you know if you got a neutral badge you're gonna have to make it hot before you can get now you got to make it hot so now it's hot you got to wait a whole another week before you can get the lethal badge but now nah, you you can go ahead and get it, all your hot spots right here. Make everything red so when that purple badge comes, you can already have it, man. Listen, y'all want to know let, um, more if I need to explain some more or if you, if you ain't understand something, let me know in the comments, man. Make sure while you're down there, hit the sub button because we will be bringing plenty more tips and tricks, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you share to anybody you know. And until next time, we out.